All right, welcome everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to learn a complete 12 bar blues solo. We're going to use a C7 for this example. So I'm going to play through the solo first all the way through. Then I'm going to get you in close and break it down. So let's turn it up and rock this solo. So again, we're going to use a C7, F, F9, or F7, C, G, just a straightforward 12-bar blues. So let's just get right to it with the first phrase. Really looking at the minor pentatonic here, C minor pentatonic. Really the anchor point over here in the 8th fret. I'm going to use only a few major notes in this whole solo and this A note is one of them. Kind of a real bluesy major thing to do. Really raking the strings. Eighth fret B string, tenth fret B string. Slight bend, eighth fret G string. Tenth fret D string. Really common blues pull offs and, and just really half bends. Do the phrase, phrase one more time. Now moving up the pentatonic scale, 12th fret G string, 11th fret B string, B flat note there, really minor pentatonic, but then moving up, 14th fret G string, 13th fret B string. So now your new anchor point is this C note here on the 13th fret of the B strings. So if I play that solo 10 times, I would I'd probably do it different every time slightly because you just feel things different in, if you're in a different mood or a different place in the song sometimes or intensity. Um, but this you know anchor point here, C note. As you move up, then back to the anchor point here. Again, this same phrase again. Pivot point here in the eighth fret again. Eleventh fret B string. Just walking right down the minor pentatonic. Pulling off. Just before I do the last phrase, that was just an easy way to walk right down the minor pentatonic there. And it really connects to that same phrase at the beginning. Going to the last phrase here, into the G, G seventh. 
This is still minor pentatonic here, just some a different couple positions up here. All right, so sliding up in this last phrase, 13th fret to 15. Now the 18th fret, just hammering on to the 18th fret of the E string. Then, then hitting the 15th again and, and just pulling off. That might take some practice. Then the 18th fret of the B string. Pentatonic here. Minor pentatonic here in C. But when you connect these together, just small pieces of them, this is what you would get. Then the last, really raking the last phrase. I'm hitting that A note again there. And the 17th fret. This is the very end of the solo here. A note, slight bend, and the 16th, 16th fret here. B string, back to the 17th fret, to the C note. I'm looking at that as my anchor point, that C note. Then back down to the C here, my anchor, my anchor point. Really so important to, to keep in mind these anchor points because you can play off of these in every position of the neck. So we really use the minor pentatonic a lot in this. Let's use those ideas one more time. These phrases are all over the neck here, but just in different blocks of the minor pentatonic scale. Always good when you're going to the G in this blues with a in the C, just sliding up to the G note here. All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. It is so fun to play this way because you're just using little blocks of the minor pentatonic over, over each chord and really just stay in the home base. Make sure you know your target notes. In this case, it was a C, C minor pentatonic in, in most of this. Again, thanks so much and we will see you on the next one.